Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the 3D Print Zone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what to do if you get this error message on your Bamboo Lab 3D printer. It says, it is detected that the lead screws may need lubrication. Would you like to go to the maintenance page? And it gives you the option yes or no. So this video is really going to be helpful for any 3D printer that you have, but in particular I have here an X1 Carbon, but this will apply to any Bamboo Lab 3D printer or any 3D printer in general that has Z-axis screws. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I'd like to give a shameless plug for some of my other videos. So I do a lot of 3D printed guitars and designs that are available on my website, the3dprintzone.com. So if you're interested in 3D printed guitars, then definitely check out those as well. So a 3D printer is just like any other machine. It does need periodic maintenance. So in this case, we're going to be looking at the Z-axis screws, which are, there are three of them. There's one on the left side in the front, one on the right side in the front, and then one in the back at the center. So the lead screws are what move the bed in the vertical direction in the Z-plane, and they require grease in order to make sure that it moves smoothly. So you can see over time, you'll get some of the grease will kind of gunk up towards the bottom and the top. And then you'll also see kind of running up and down the lead screws a black residue that'll build up over time. On the Bamboo website, it recommends performing this maintenance roughly every three months. But if you're a heavy user and putting a lot of hours on the printer, you may want to do this even more frequently. So first I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the lead screws. I'm just using paper towels, but you can use any cloth you want. And this is just going to be to remove any gunk and buildup that are on the lead screws. And you can see right off the bat how much gunk is built up on these lead screws. So in order to get access to the lead screw to clean them, you're going to need to move the bed up and down. So to do that, you could just come over here to this button, and then we're going to click on the home button, and that'll move the bed upwards. So now we have better access to get the rest of the lead screw here. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same procedure for the other two. And the one in the very back is a little bit harder to get to. We can also go and just move the bed down a bit so we can access the very top of the lead screws. So you don't need to worry about the lead screws being absolutely perfectly clean, but you just want to do your best to make sure you get as much of the gunk and particles off as possible. So the next step is going to be to apply some new fresh grease. So for this, I'm using this Super Lube Multipurpose Synthetic Grease, and I'll put a link to this in the description below. And this is what we're going to use to reapply and put on the lead screws. So I'm once again just going to home it to get it all the way to the top. So now for each of the three lead screws, I'm just going to apply a few dabs going up the lead screw. And for the back, this tube is just a little bit big to access it, so I'm just going to apply some with my finger. Now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of spread it out on the screw. So now that we have the grease applied to the threads, I'm going to move the bed downwards and while it's moving downwards, it's going to help distribute and spread the grease into the threads. And now that it's in the lower position, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more grease. And now we can go ahead once again and home the bed. And now that we've moved the bed back up to the top position, 
we want to go ahead and at the tops and the bottoms of the lead screw we want to clean off any extra grease that's collected as it's moved up and down. And once you've cleaned up some of the excess, I recommend doing the homing procedure and just moving the bed all the way up and down several times just to make sure it's fully distributed. So after you've repeated that process a few times, you're officially ready to start a print. And it really is that easy, and it's something that you want to do for your printer in order to maintain the life of it. So if you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, then leave those in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.